It's game time on 1112 BISN. Out of the five, touchdown, Bison! On your computer or mobile device anywhere in the world. Expert play-by-play by Steve McDonald. Cummings, it'll be Cummings, five, Cummings, down to the pylon, yeah! touchdown, Bison! The bank's open on Saturday here in Cheyenne in the afternoon. Bank closed to Riverton, no out-of-town deposits. Intriguing color analyst, Alan Cummings. That, that's where a pump fake really works. Oh, yeah. She got the offensive rebound. She had it. three players around her. Just a quick... Put her in the air. Yeah. Just so you know, I've already stopped tracking turnovers. Are you ready? Sit back and enjoy the game brought to you by the Bison. 1112 BISN, your Bison Network. Here we go. Well, good evening, uh, Bison fans, and welcome to the Old Man Story Gymnasium here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, as tonight, Rivalry Week starts in the 4A Basketball Conference here in Wyoming. It is also Conference Week, the opening of the 4A Southeastern Conference as your Cheyenne South Bison play the home team tonight here at the Old Man, and they will host the Central Indians from across town in girls action here shortly, and then boys action to follow doubleheader basketball here tonight on 11-12 BISN. This is the SNJ Science pregame show. Steve McDonald and Alan Cummings here with you live floor side floor at the side. old band, Alan. We got courtside seats, man. I don't know. We must know some pretty good people. We must get us uh, courtside yeah. seats, right? It's not who you know. <laughs> but uh, so exciting, exciting night here as again wait, we wait, open wait, before, the conference. Before we go on. It's kind of like the NBA games, you know, where you have all those people that are sitting in between the scorer's table and the bench. Right. Like That's what Spike I feel like Lee. right now. Yeah. Like Spike Lee. Uh, yeah. I feel like Jack Spike Nip- Lee. I feel like Jack Nicholson. I am Spike Lee. Because I'm a huge Bison fan. Okay. <laughs> so I could be like Jack Nicholson is for the Lakers. There you go. But we have a couple of excited games for you tonight. Boy, tall task for the Bison as they face a couple of fantastic central teams. The Lady Indians come in 9-1 and one on the season. The boys' Indians team also 9-1 and one on the season. Both teams ranked up at the top central, kind of the unanimous number one team on the boys' side. And the girls' side, I believe the girls are number two in the state. So a tall order for these South Bison, for the Lady Bison and the boys' Bison team alike. Yeah, and you know what? This is actually the first, this, this week they didn't get unanimous for the first week, like in three weeks. Oh, but the Central did? No, East got, actually, East got two first place votes. Um, you know, they lost that game to Scott's Bluff in double overtime, their only loss of the season in double overtime. Right. So, you know, I, they're, they're a tall, athletic team. We kind of knew what they were going to be coming into this season, and they're playing every bit as good as that. We saw that Scott's Bluff team firsthand, Steve, and they were a really good team. And to have that team take, you know, take Central into double overtime to win, and I think Central had a player foul out actually in the first overtime so but south you know they're playing good as well you you can't can't discount the 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 boys or the girls girls are three and seven boys are six and four right now you know and so they're it's you're learning to win in these early season tournaments and right now all those lessons you're hoping that you learned in that in those preseason starts tonight in the southeast yeah, and at some point, let's focus on the girls' game to start this thing out. At some point, you know, the South Lady Bison returning Callista Martinez, their leading scorer from last year, Angelina Liggett, Jaya Brown. These are returners. Riley Van Tassel, they're returning four or five starters. You know, it's it's time for this South Lady Bison team to turn the corner. There were some good expectations for them this year. They've got off to a slower start than I think a lot of people thought they might. And uh, now that the conference season is starting, I think I think it's time for this team to step up and show what their potential really is. And, you know, this team has a lot of potential. Steve, I'm glad you said that. You nailed it right on the head. <laughs> this team has a lot of potential. They're kind of playing, from what I've seen, you know, in the early season tournaments and what I've seen on film, you know, they're just a little, they're playing a little discombobulated right now. They're forcing more things. I think they're, they've heard it all off season. They've heard it all towards the end of last season, how good this team was going to be the, coming into this year. And I think they're forcing the issue. We've seen more crop, more full court passes than what we normally see from this team, and it's the turnovers, and that's what it is. They're for they're forcing turnovers, and it's hurting them in the end. But this team has the talent to turn it around. And who who can forget last year on this very floor, 
South High Lady Bison stormed back and beat the St. Lady Indians in the final seconds of the game when free, with free throws from J.F. Brown. So anything's possible. This team is good. It's all about matchups. Yep, it's about matchups, and it's, it's about uh, how the Lady Bison come out to play. They are 3-7. and seven. Again, a little bit disappointed in their star, but we know the talents there. And this is a team that, that you, Alan, predicted uh, to make a run to the playoffs this year and uh, run to the state uh, championship game possibly next year they're a little off the pace for that but what do you think their chances are again in the southeast conference well you look at the southeast conference we've yet to see laramie um we we haven't really seen natrona yet natrona is playing a little bit better ball we've seen the kelly walsh girls that's the west side but natrona the girls we have to look at you know sheridan's down this year i think the lady bison still have an opportunity to make their first ever state appearance this year in, in, in the 4A state championship tournaments. And if that's the case, of course, then we're going to be up there because they got the, you, they've got the great food, right? Well, where's the where's state? Oh, yeah, Casper. Casper. So, where's the regionals at this year? Regionals is in Sheridan or Gillette. Okay, so the long trek to regionals. But there's a lot of basketball to be played between now and then. There's a lot more to talk about uh, in this game. We're going to break down the Lady Bison a little further. Also take an in-depth look at the Central Lady Indians. we got Allen's Keys to the Game, the Uniform Report, and the Vaunted Popcorn Report featuring guest popcorn analyst Brandon Wolf. So we're going to take a time out here on 1112 BISN. This is the S&J Science pregame show on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Hit a deer. Parking lot dings, hail damage, or just roadway demolition derby? No matter how your vehicle gets damaged, Missile Drive Auto Body will make sure it gets repaired back to pre-loss condition and as quickly as possible. No shortcuts, no compromises. And remember, where you get your car repaired is not your insurance company's decision, it's yours. Call today for an estimate appointment at 307-635-0639. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. Are you tired of living in pain? Do you just want to feel better, move better, and love your life? Then it's time to get physical. At Physical, through our comprehensive programs, you will discover how to achieve the pinnacle of healthy living, expand your boundaries, and love your life again. Call us at 307-772-0955. Let's get moving again and experience the physical difference today. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all the pieces? Pena Business Services does and they can help. Realizing your company is like its own unique puzzle, it's their goal to show you how your company is reaching its goals on a weekly, monthly, or quarterly basis. Offering bookkeeping, payroll, and tax services that are tailored to fit your business. At Pena Business Services, they can help allow you to focus on your business and effectively serve your customers. Set up your free consultation now by calling 307-369-2708. Pena Business Services, solving your bookkeeping puzzle one piece at a time. ISN back here live at the old man story gym with the SJ Science pregame show as we are about 11 minutes away from the tip between your lady bison and the central lady Indians. Steve's working out some starting lineup details. We're going to go ahead and pan over here. We're going to talk about some of the lady bison action that's going to be going on right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at your the lady Indians that'll be playing tonight. Um, they're paced by number 25, Kelsey Bazard. And we know, you know, we know an official name by that. Um, they're freshly moved here, I think, from Colorado, if I'm correct. She's averaging 10 points a game. But then you also got Ellie Ferniau, number 23, at 10.8 points a game. And then right behind them is number 30, Bailey Delbridge, at 9.1 points a game. And number four, Jordan Jones, at 7.4 points a game. And then you can never forget about the scrappy and talented number 21, McKenna Salee, averaging five points a game. And then you got Jay, Jayla Jones, number 32, averaging 6.6 .6 points a game. Your late, the, the Lady Indians come in averaging 54.2 points a game, which is fourth in the 4A conference. They give up 37.3 points a game. They're shooting 40%, which is third in the 4A conference. Here's an impressive <laughs> number. They average 30 rebounds a game, and they only give up 26 rebounds. The 30 rebounds a game, Steve, is seventh in the 4A conference. 
They only allow 37 points a game, which I talked about earlier. That's tops in the 4A conference for girls basketball. Well, the Jones girls are 6'1 and 6'3 respectively, so that's probably where they have that rebounding advantage. Yeah, and I completely agree with you. The one thing, though, is one thing about one of the Jones sisters is, and maybe she's matured a little bit more game-wise, is if you got into her head early, you know, she would start having a lot of unforced errors. So South has got to take advantage of their speed to take advantage of some of the size that we have out here. You know, we, the South is an athletic team that's paced by number two, Calista Martinez at 11 points a game. Then you follow that down with our big, number 22, Riley Van Tassel. So the problem I see with the Lady Bison that's happened a lot this, this particular season, Steve, which has plagued them pretty much, and I hate to say it, since the inception of the school is the Bunnies. And for the fans that don't know what that means, the oh, Bunnies are the, the are the layup set, the point-blank shots that are right there. You know, usually they call them the high-percentage shots, you know, in basketball. We've missed a lot of those, Steve. And if, if they don't get that, sh that, that part right, then it could be a longer season for the Lady Bison than what it needs to be. I see a lot of players that are jacking up shots down low, and they're not even looking at the basket. They're just getting the ball, and they're just turning and shooting and they're looking at the basket after they release the ball. They've got to fix that, Steve. And if they fix that, in my opinion, they can run away with tonight's game. You know what's amazing about that? If you look down at their field goal percentage, their overall field goal percentage, you know, their starters are Calista's 42%, Jay is 54%, Riley's 40 and McKenna Harlan 44 I mean, these are really pretty decent uh, field goal percentages. And you know what, considering Steve? Considering all the You misses. talk about that as a team. South shoots 38% from the field. Which That'd is fourth. It's fourth in the 4A <laughs> conference, right behind the very team they're playing tonight. So they shoot really well. The problem is, is they get those stretches. They have those stretches of the game where it's either turnovers or missed shots. Riley Van Tassel has been, has been right there the last three games, has been right there. And a lot of those shots were good looks. They just didn't go in. But then you had some of those shots that weren't good looks. She's got to slow her body down. When she's in the paint, Steve, she can control anybody in this league. But once she learns how to control that and get those baskets to fall, it's going to be a good season for her, and she can help lead this Lady Bison to where they need to be. The other thing you talk about is how many points they leave on the, on the court with, with, from the free throw line. They only shoot 46% from the line, and they really need to shore that up a bit as well. They, they really do. You know, free throws – there's a lot of coaches in basketball that says free throws will, will either win you a game or lose you a game. South makes a lot of trips to the free throw line, and they leave a lot of points on the front of the rim. So they got to get that fixed, Steve. Free throws are exactly what it is, free. Yep. You know, it's your chance to earn free points with the clock stop. Shooting 46%, now you look at Central, who shoots 61%. That's a huge gap right there. If South can at least aim for a 55%, that's actually a good thing for them. They can, if they can up that percentage, maybe eight percent, nine percent more. That, that's a lot of points that they're going to start adding to their to their score. They're only averaging forty two points a game, which is eleventh in the four A conference. So. You add that in, you start getting some of those free throws, a lot of good things can happen. I think we'll hear a lot more about that in Alan's keys to the game. We're going to take probably what will be our final timeout before the game gets started here. About six minutes to go till game time. When we come back, starting lineups. Also, Allen's keys to the game. We're going to talk uniform report and get this <laughs> thing going. It is Crosstown Rivalry Conference Week here as the Central Lady Indians come to play south. The Lady Bison here at the Old Man. That's coming right your way here on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. The Round Top Mountain Motel offers free conditioning, cable TV, and rustic cabins and large motel rooms to fit you and your family's needs. Located within walking distance of the Hot Springs State Park, downtown shopping and restaurants, why would you want to stay anywhere else for your next trip to Thermopolis? Wyoming owned and operated, the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins will make you feel like home during your stay. Make your reservation now by calling 307-421-7520. The Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins in Thermopolis. A lot of Wyoming at a very competitive price. 
It's much more affordable than you realize to protect your family with the Robert Martinez Agency. Having life insurance will protect you and your loved ones and help ensure the future. As a trusted advisor, Robert Martinez will guide you through the wide range of life insurance plans and their fantastic benefits to find an affordable plan with the right coverages. Working to guide and secure your future. Robert Martinez Agency, 20th and Central in downtown Cheyenne. Call for a no-obligation consultation and quote at 307-514-5003. Missile Drive Auto Body is a full-service auto body repair facility in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We have established a reputation as an auto repair shop that is honest, performs quality body repairs and refinish, and strives for excellent customer service. And we guarantee our workmanship for as long as you own your vehicle. Call us today at 307-635-0639 or visit us at 1910 Missile Drive in Cheyenne. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in Cheyenne is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. Our highly skilled, compassionate team of therapy providers are 100% focused on achieving optimal health and wellness for you. If you are tired of living in pain, want to just feel better and move better, or want to improve your strength, endurance, and physical conditioning, then it's time to get physical. Experience the physical difference today by calling 307-772-0955 or visit their website at physicalcenters.com. Physical Therapy Therapy and Balance Centers. Let's get moving again. Back here live at Story Gymnasium, the old man as he is affectionately known here in Cheyenne as we prepare you for the Central Lady Indians, number two in the state, 9-1 on this season, taking on your South Lady Bison, unranked in 3-7 and seven on the season. And uh, the start of conference play, as well as the southeast quadrant of the state conference alignment is Central East, South, and Laramie. So South will get started a double bill this week. They'll have Central tonight in East on Friday night to get this conference season started. They'll go to Laramie next week to complete the first iteration of the conference play. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say iteration? Yeah. Wow. That's, man. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's Big Word Tuesday night. Quick uniform report. Looks like Lady Indians will be in their road black uniforms, trimmed in red and white with red numbers. South, of course, will be in their home whites as they are designated home team for this game. So they'll be in their home whites, trimmed in black and Vegas gold with the black numerals. And before we get to the starting lineups, let's get to Allen's keys. To the game, Allen stampede victory. What the Lady Bison need to do to be competitive and maybe get a big win in this game. Hey, don't lose yourself. That's what you got to do. Don't lose yourself. Don't let the emotion of this Crosstown rivalry game become bigger than what it could be. It's already big. Keep it under control. Control your body, Steve. Control your body. We kind of touched on that on the S&J Science pregame show. When you get close to the basket, hey, fake a shot to make a shot. You get some of those bunnies to fall, good things can happen. And the third thing you need to do, cut down the turnovers. You cut down the turnovers and good things also can happen for you. That's less points the other team can score. So, All right, and let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting Lady Indians from Central, Jordan Jones is a sophomore. She'll wear number four. She's six feet, one inches tall. Jones averaging 7.4 points per game. Ellie Fernio, number 23. Ellie is a senior. She is 5'9". Ellie comes in averaging 10.8 a game. Kelsey Bassert, the transfer in. She wears number 25, averages 10 points a game. And number 30, Bailey Delbridge. Delbridge, a junior. She's 5 feet 7 inches tall. Bailey averages 9.1. And finally, Jayla Jones. Jayla wears number 32. She's 6 feet 3 inches tall, averages 6.6 a game. So Jones, Fernio, Bassert, Delbert, and Jayla Jones for the Central Indians. So you know what's great here is there's kind of a, the Central bench has kind of like a, you know, they obviously have a connection with South as Coach Kurt Bride was a former Bison, Lady Bison head coach. But then Baz Bazert actually used to play for one of his assistant coaches in Colorado. So we're going to stand and recognize our great country with the National Anthem, and then we'll get to the Lady Bison starting lineup after we do the National Anthem.
Nice rendition there from great the South rendition. High. Great traditional, a great traditional rendition. Let's take a of look at the National starting Anthem. lineup for the South of Lady Bison. They'll come out like this. Calista Martinez. Calista wears number two. She's a junior, five feet eight inches tall, averaging 11.3 points a game. Angelina Liggett will get the start as well. Angelina, a senior, she's 5'3", wears number four. Angelina averaging 2.3 points a game. Jaya Brown will start for the Lady Bison. Jaya, she's a junior. She's 5'3". I think everybody on this team's a junior, and everybody on this team's 5'3". <laughs> Jaya Brown, a 5'3", junior, wearing number 12. Jaya Brown chips in 6.3 a game. Riley Van Tassel is number 22. Riley Van Tassel, she is a little bit taller than your average South player. She's 5'10", she's a junior, and Riley averaging 10 points a game. And finally, starting tonight, Reagan Moore, senior. We don't have a, a height listed for her, but she does wear number 14, and she averages 3.7 a game. She's starting in place of Raina Tovar, who has been starting. So South will go like this. Martinez, Liggett, Jaya Brown, Riley Van Tassel, and Reagan Moore, and we are ready to get this thing tipped up in the air. Alan, final comments before we go to the bounce. I like this move starting Reagan Moore tonight, Steve. I really do. She she actually is a little bit more consistent in hitting those low post shots. She brings that extra strength down low, and like you said, she brings that additional height to match up with the Jones sisters. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes and make sure our players stay out of foul trouble. Got a good officiating crew tonight. Bill, Bill Lyons, Lyons Corey Sigvartson, and, and some and other guy. I know that guy from Casper. I tip, names on the tip of my tongue, but we'll figure it out. Here we go. And I get to sit by Drea, so oh, I, better not talk, I better not talk no smack. Uh, said, no, they're mad at me from last night. <laughs> 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 I got to rep that JV Taps game. Taps going to be won by the Lady Indians. It's only my second ever overtime game I ever officiated was last night. So let's see if we it's Bailey Delbridge to Jones. Jones out top to Fernio. Fernio, three-point attempt early in the game is going to be long. That's number 25. But a rebound down low and a putback by Jordan Jones. Two nothing, Lady Indians. Well, one thing we do know that they can do really well, Steve, is they can rebound. So South's got to make sure they do not lose that rebound battle or keep it as close as possible. They employ a little bit of man pressure in the backcourt, but South gets it across. So now. Liggett has it. She'll get it to Calista Martinez. I think, Martinez. I think them being in a man's defense actually works to South's benefit. We'll take a look. Jay Brown dribbles it out top. Working on Bassert. There you go. Oh, man. Now Reagan Moore. There you go. Nice feed down ah. low, but it's just off the hands of Riley Van Tassel. And here come the Lady Indians up to Jordan Jones. Jordan looking for a cutting. And then she'll try a three-pointer. That doesn't go. Rebound to Jaya. Jaya working on Bassert. She'll get it to head to Angelina. Callista, right side, baseline, outside of the three-point line. And she'll reset it up top to Jaya. Nice, patient offense here. Don't rush anything. Things will start coming as you move the offense. You just got to stay moving. Can't stand still. I like that move, getting Callista down in the post like that. And she's going to draw a foul. That's what you're going to get. Good job. See who picks that up. I think it's going to be on Bailey Delbridge. Number 30. And that will put Callista to the line for two early here in the first quarter. Callista averages 11 points a game. One good way to get started is hitting some free throws, Steve. What did I say? She'll hit the front end. Did I call it? You called it. I called it. They call me prophetic. They call you the prophet. <laughs> Alan the Prophet coming. Hey, make sure you use that chat feature. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're watching for. We'll try to give you a shout-out when we can check. She hits them both. Boy, that didn't even hardly tickle the twine. That was so true. And now here comes Delbridge, and South will use a little man pressure in the backcourt. Jordan to, Jones with it. Those free throws brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body. Head to Jayla Jones. Without compromise. Jordan up top. Jordan's going to try to go low. Looks like she tried to clear out there. Ooh. Ooh shouldn't wow. have left Boy, her feet. Well, that looked like a little hard step, but Bailey Delbridge yeah. to the hole and gets the basket. I thought she dragged that pivot foot, honestly, but. Ball knocked out of bounds. This out of bounds being brought to you by Pena Business Services. 
It's tax season. Make sure you give Pena Business Services a call. He, he knows what he's doing. Gabriel Pena. Pena. So into Calista. Martinez, 4-2 Central. Just under six to go. First quarter. So we're just getting warmed up here for a night of doubleheader action in this crosstown rivalry. Boy, Fernie Allen and Van Tassel are battling down low. They're going to be dropping that backside help every time they can, Steve. It's going to be a held ball. Possession arrow should be to South. The Central won the opening tap, so South will have possession underneath their own basket. South's got to read that backside help. It's coming every time. They're waiting, so you got to, you got to make sure as a player you're reading that perfectly because you could easily pass into a turnover right there. Ball's thrown in and knocked right back out of bounds by Jordan Jones. Matter of fact, during this out of bounds, if you're watching the game and you're a fan of South, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button. Let us know you're watching this game and you're cheering for South. Oh, that wow. Is a great Reagan Moore got loose underneath on the inbound for a two-point basket. Game tied, 4-4. Four to four. That was a great, great offensive set there, inbounding set for the Lady Bison. So Fernio gets it out top to Delbridge. Delbridge, right side to Bassert. South. Now George Jones in the lane. She'll kick it down on the block to number 23, Fernio. She misses the layup. Wasn't quite a layup, but she had it on the block for a shot. South playing a 3-2 zone. you got to make sure you bring that backside help, that rotation. And that was a good rotation there by Van Tassel, which forced that miss by Fernio. South with a chance to take the lead here. It's a tie game. And South with possession. Jaya. Oh, nice feed to Fantastic. Wow, she's bodied up that's pretty good. That's a great call. Yep, that's a great call. That's a great a call. A lot of body there. Nice patient whistle. That's what they teach you right there. I know for all of you fans who've been listening to us since our inception, they're like, is that Allen saying that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Kirk Bride likes a lot, but that was definitely a lot of body. That's South three for three in the early going from the line. They now have the lead. It's the Lady Bison five, the Lady Indians four. And Riley Van Tassel will tow the second one here. Love South's intensity right now, Steve. They're playing, playing really good defense, playing really patient offense. Oh, that's a carry. Yep. You betcha. And Bill Lyons right there to see a turnover central. Kelsey Bassert, number 25 with a turnover. So the Lady Bison will inbound it right in front of our Vantage point, number 21 checking in for Central, 21. McKenna Salee. McKenna Salee, Allen talked about her in the pregame. She's a senior. Was a main, was she, I think she was actually a starter last year, so she's not, looks like she's not starting this year, maybe the injury, she's got that knee taped. Really solid basketball player, really smart IQ, she's battling down low with, with more. Feeds it down into the lane. Riley Van Tassel, she turns around right hand. Ooh, I don't know. Woo. That one. Let's see. Billy Lyons right on it, though. Well, you know what? Number Regardless, these next shots are going to be free throws. And you know what that means? Missile drive, auto body, free throws. Missile drive, auto body, quality without compromise. Say hi to Amy and the gang over at Whistle. Whistle drive. Whistle drive. Missile drive, auto body. So you've got Tovar and Demas who's checked in now. We said one of them was going to be the first off the bench. They both came off the bench. And 25's the in as well. Is that Harlan? That's McKenna Harlan. And we missed. Looks like it's going to be a foul on Central. Fourth wow, team so foul. Central's racking up the fouls early on. South yet to commit a foul. Clista turned around from about six feet and air ball. There's Harlan for a rebound on the right block. And then the ball stolen away by Delbridge. Up ahead, it's Basser. Basser gets the ball slapped out of her hands. Steal by Andrea Demas. And it's going to be a timeout. Boy, that's. 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it here. Good pace here early on. We're at the midway point well, I tell you of the what, first quarter. It went by so fast, I couldn't even get the missile drive auto body free throw attempts, but this timeout <laughs> being brought to you by Pena Business Services right now. And uh, Steve, we talked about the rebound battle. Right now, South's winning 3-1. to one. 
against these Lady Indians. And that's exactly what was one of my keys, one of my stampedes to victory, win that rebound battle or keep it close. Actually, it wasn't one of my stampedes of victory. It was like one of my sub-stampedes of victory. <laughs> so. Another key to the game is the foul situation. Central's committed foul. Four fouls. South hasn't committed any, but Central, uh, four different players picking up one apiece. So nobody in foul trouble as an individual, but as a team, uh, four fouls here in the first half of the first quarter. South with a three-guard set right now. Demas can get to the basket. Tovar can shoot the three. Martinez can score from anywhere. Then you got Van Tassel. Then you got Harlan, who's your, who's going to get your rebounds for you, Steve. She Central can shoot though too. Playing in the man defense right now. Good switch there. And South being patient with the ball out top. There's Demas. a nice little gap. That's going to be a travel. Yep. Jay Brown checking back in for Raina Tovar. Is there a 31 for Central in the game? No. Number two's in the game for Central, though. Who's that? Kenzie Boltz, the senior. Delbridge with it out top now. Central in the offensive end. Delbridge puts up a left-hander. Too strong, can't get it to go. And it's knocked out of bounds by number 21, Kenneth Salee. So South will get her team rebound for that one. Now here's what's hurting South is we we don't have an offensive rebound yet. So now Central in a one-two-one one front court zone. They're going to trap out of it. That's oh, a nice they got a dude. nice That's cross a nice court pass. Demas two on two, three on two. They actually had numbers. McKenna Harlan feeds Callista Martinez gets to the right block. Right hand can't get it to go. And Delbridge comes down with it for Central. She's going to try to go coast to coast. That's going to be a foul. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So Sal picks up their first foul. Well, I don't think it was a shooting foul, though, was it? Huh. Looked like it was on the floor to me, but. <laughs> First free throws up and misses. So South still leading six to four. We are three minutes and eight seconds on this missile drive auto body free throw. There's been two That's ties NBA. and three lead changes. That's NBA continuation. And she, she misses, misses both, both free throws. And we lose the rebound. There's gonna be a hack by Harlan. And no doubt about that one. And Central will go back to the line. This time it'll be number 23. Ellie Fernio. Second rebound. Oops, that was an offensive rebound. So Central's had two rebounds, both of them on the offensive end, Steve. And that one hurt there because Fernio on the season. 59% shooter. She, she makes the first. She's the leading scorer for the Lady Indians. So your, your score is actually 6-5. to five. I have updating it right now. And she'll get them both. So and it's a tie time. game. Again, Central trapping in the backcourt. But South does a nice job of breaking a two-on-one, and Central hustles to get back and stop the break. That was a great South job by there. Jaya. That was a great job. She got, she didn't have a good look. She brought it out. She took it set. in and got a foul. Yeah, they've been. But yeah, I see what you're saying. Keep keep uh, getting Central to commit fouls, and that could help South in the long run. One-three-one zone by the Lady Indians. Good call there. It's my favorite defense. Love this defense too. If it's ran correct, it's probably the most lethal zone defense you could run in my uh, opinion. She tried to feed down low, but fronted. Kenneth Lee was fronting Riley. She's going to stop, pop, six-footer. That bounces all around, can't get it to go. Vol volleyball around, comes down to 23 for Central. Out to Salee up top of the key. And she'll reset it to Delbridge. Central will reset the offense. Six to six is the score, 209 to go first quarter. Now they look down low, and that was just an errant pass. Give a steal, though, to Riley Van, pa Van Tassel. The easy variety. Boy, South, South, three offensive rebounds for Central. You know, that's all they've had, so. Demas baseline kicks it out. Ooh, Liggett thought about the three, but then passed up. Gosh, she's wide open. Had all day long to set and shoot that. Yeah, Liggett's a 9% three-point shooter, so that was probably a good call, Steve. South's, South's going to pull it out. Why not? Run a little bit of clock here. They got... It's going to make them get out of the zone or at least extend it. If you extend the zone, that's going to leave some cutters open, Steve. So they're looking to get Central to come out of the zone, and Central's going to stay disciplined. No reason to dribble. 
Here they go. They're going into the man. That's exactly now what DeBryan bring it out. Wanted. Great coaching move by DeBryan there to get Central out of that zone. Credit Central playing a good man defense right now, too. Minute to go, first quarter. Six to six on the Pena Business Services scoreboard. Uh. Actually, Majestic Butterfly scoreboard, excuse me. And here comes Delbridge. She's going to go all the way. Right hand misses. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound for Central. Ooh, there's a travel by Jones. Not called. She tries a three. Nope. And Only there's going to be a foul. Yep, there's going to be a foul on Jaya Brown after the shot. So Central's going to get the ball back. So a two-point basket there by Jordan Jones. And a foul by South, huh? Not a good foul. It's a little too aggressive on that rebounding attempt. So check this out. Central's got four rebounds this game, Steve. All four on the offensive end. Wow. South has four rebounds, all four on the defensive end. So Central <laughs> will bring it out underneath their own basket. They do have the two-point lead here. 45 seconds to go first quarter. Got to keep an eye on Jones. Got to keep an eye on Jones. Well, you got to keep an eye on Basil. She's actually... With it. Baseline, there's going to be a three shot there by Jaya, Jayla Jones, and she's going to chase her own rebound down. Another Riley rebound. Riley Van Tassel had it, but she couldn't pull it in. Another rebound there by Bolts Lady. for three. That's no good. And rebound to Van Tassel. Here comes Jaya. Got 17 seconds. Let's see if they can get a shot off here. Boy, that last possession we had when Demas got into the paint, I thought she was going to finish it herself, but yeah. she dished it off to Van Tassel. She's going to shoot this one. Trey oh. Demas, oh, it was a good look. Callista's going to get one off the buzzer, and it's good! And it's counted by Sigvartsen. Two-point basket. Oh, wow, two. what a way to end the first quarter. So after one, it's the Lady Bison 8, the Lady Indians 8. You're listening to High School Basketball on 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. It's frustrating when an injury keeps you from the activities you love. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers has helped thousands of clients recover from sports injuries and reclaim their lifestyles. Treating a variety of injuries, including sprains, post-surgical, foot and ankle injuries, as well as back and neck injuries. Our therapists will develop a personalized treatment plan to help you heal and hasten your recovery and minimize your risk of re-injury. Call 307-772-0955 to schedule an appointment now. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, let's get moving again. And we're back. Boy, what an exciting end to that first quarter, Steve. And Alan, when are you throwing the popcorn report at him? We're going to throw the popcorn report on the next Pena Business Services timeout. But for now, on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard, it's 8-8. Eight to eight. We had four ties and four lead changes in that quarter. South went two for five. Sorry, yeah, two for five from the field. Four for six from the free throw line. So Lady Indians will have the first possession here of the second quarter, and it'll be Bolts dribbling, giving it off to... Jones up top, Jordan Jones to Bassard. Bassard crosses over, gets the ball down low, looking for something easy underneath. Nice feed there, but another miss by Central. Rebound to Reagan Moore. And here come the Lady Bison, Jaya Brown. Callista, three, high arcer, and that misses everything. She ate her Wheaties, that was way long. Jordan Jones the other way for the Lady Indians. To Bassard. Bassard looking down low again. Jayla Jones. Jay, excuse me. Now Bolt, she's going to drive, kick it out. Long two there for Bassard. No good, but Lady Indians are going to get another rebound. Out of bounds. Oh, South no, ball. She lost the handle. One, one, thing that the, one thing they also need to look for, Steve, are these the moving screens here. You got to got to watch the girls throwing the hips out. That's it's also a foul, too. So. Central again going to trap on the backcourt pressure. I tried. I jumped as high as I could. Ball went right over my head. 
Central's going to inbound, so turnover. I tried south. to make a play on that, but. So Bolts is going to inbound it now to Bassard. Bassard working up top. She'll get it on the wing to Jordan Jones. She'll drive lane. Let right-hander, floater, can't get it to go. Calista Martinez, finally South gets a defensive rebound. South out rebounding the Lady Indians right now, Steve. And I'll tell you, if they can do that, they can keep this game exactly where they want it. 8-8 eight to eight is your score here on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard. South working in the offensive end. It's Jay Brown. Cross court to Angelina Liggett. She'll chase it down and get it to Callista. Callista finds Reagan Moore on the block, open on the backside for a two-point basket. And we have our first points of the second quarter. Lady Bison with the 10-8 lead. Now Jaya Jones stops and pops from 17. That's an air ball, but another offensive rebound for Basser. Now down low, Jones on the right block. Wow, great feed there from Bolts to Jaya Jones, Jayla Jones, and she ties it up. Now here comes the Lady Bison. It's going to be out of bounds. Ah. Central has seven rebounds right now. Six of them are offensive rebounds, yeah, Steve. Huh. They're just hustling to those offensive boards. They're not even real big caroms that are coming off to them. They're just right position at the right time. Good position. Ball into. Don't pass that. There Gee, you go. Any Christmas. Ooh, that That's was close. close. <laughs> so Jay Brown with it now. That's a carry. Yep. Sixth turnover of the game for the Lady Bison. Matter of fact, if you're a fan of high school sports, if you're a fan of high school sports and you're watching us on 1112 BISN, hit that thumbs up button right there. And then after you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to us. It's totally free. And the subscription, that's a travel. And they didn't call that one either. Fernio, L.A. Fernio, excuse me, with a two-point bucket. Central back with the lead. Central's first lead since 4-2, to two, Steve. Yeah, that was a big time travel. Out of so, bounds and stay with South. Hit that subscribe button. If you don't know what the subscribe button looks like, it's a red button on the screen that says subscribe. It's totally free. And what it does is it shows your support to the web streamers like us that bring you high school athletics for free on YouTube as we're not going to charge you a dime. And that's a turnover. Five seconds. So, yeah, if you're a fan of Steve McDonald, hit that like button. Hit that like button. If you're a fan of Alan Cummings, Hit that like and subscribe button. There you go. And then let us know by using that chat feature there. Let us know who you're watching for, where you're watching from. As Central now brings the ball up, and that's an offensive foul. Finally, I mentioned that. you got to watch those, those screens. You know, number 32's gotten away with quite a few of them already, and they finally got her for one. She picks up her second, so she's the first player in the game to pick up two fouls. For the fans that aren't watching, I literally just caught my pen, my pencil, midair. Midair. That's a kick. Don't Chased get up on down the by Callista. Better get a timeout there. The held ball. Oh, it's going to be, be a held ball. And it'll be south because Central had it yep. at the quarter. 12-10 Central with the lead. Five minutes left in the half. Now they're going to back off that pressure a little bit and let south bring it up. So Drea on Kenzie Bolt. She'll get it across. The line, Kenzie's pressuring her, but she'll get it to Riley. It's not a good oh. thing, though, when Riley's getting the ball near the timeline. Angeline up top to Callista. Callista to Jaya. Down low, excuse me, Andrea. Reagan Moore turnaround stuffed by Jayla Jones. So a block for the Lady Indians. Here comes Delbridge the other way. Bailey gets it to early. Ellie Fernio, three. That's no good. Misses everything. Another offensive rebound. And then a block shot there. Oh, thought she was in good position, but nope. South refusing to box out. Seventh offensive rebound of the half, Steve. That well, he caught that on, none. He caught that on Drea? What? 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 I must have missed what There's happened There's a Pena there. Business Services timeout called. It's a full one, Steve. So let's take a timeout with them. You're listening to High School Basketball on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network.
Outdoor Atlas offers free high-speed internet, air conditioning, cable TV, and rustic cabins and large motel rooms to fit you and your family's needs. Located within walking distance of the Hot Springs State Park, downtown shopping and restaurants, why would you want to stay anywhere else for your next trip to Thermopolis? Wyoming owned and operated, the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins will make you feel like home during your stay. Make your reservation now by calling 307-421-7520. The Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins in Thermopolis. A lot of Wyoming at a very competitive price. Hey, back, this, yeah. we're back here live, and we're here with the Stephen Allen Popcorn Report with the special grade from one of the assistant coaches of the South Boys basketball team, Brandon Wolf. Steve, your opinion? You know, the popcorn has got great flavor tonight. It's very buttery. It's not too salty. So overall flavor, I give it a, a real high score. You know, it just is not doesn't have that, that crunch and that freshness that I like. So uh, the freshness is going to downgrade it a bit. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Out of five kernels. Well, you know, while we take these missile drive auto body free throws, I'm going to have to agree with you. The good flavor, you know, good flavor, good color on it. For those of you who aren't mm, yeah. familiar with what it looks like, here's what it looks like. Good color on the popcorn. Just enough salt, just enough buttery flavor, but the freshness is kind of a little lacking on it. So my report was also, my score was a three and a half out of five kernels. Kenzie Bolts is going to attempt her second, and she will make the second. And then Brandon Wolf also scored at the same three and a half out of five kernels. And I think his consensus was the same. Jay is going to drive it down, and then she'll oh, kick she it out. Oh, she should have shot that. Got to finish. Spin move, Callista. There's a hand by Delbridge. Callista raised, can't get to go. Reagan Moore down low, and she's going to be fouled from behind. That's Jordan Jones. Is that going to call that a shooting foul or no? Yep. So Reagan Moore. First free throws of the night. Missile drive out of body free throws. She'll miss the first. Just hit the heel. Hit the heel of the rim there, Steve. 13 to 10, Central with the lead. Largest lead of the game. <laughs> and Moore misses both of them. Rebound to Jordan Jones. So give Central another rebound there. And Jones gets it almost stolen by Callista. Ooh. It's travel. And it's going to be a travel by Fernio. I'm not sure that was a travel. Did look weird, but. So subs in for South. McKenna Harlan back in. Raina Tovar back in. Jay is back into the game. And with Callista and Andrea. Andrea with it. South running the weave out top. Nice move there. Oh! oh. She had a great look, and then Drea gets in. She, yeah, for a – she gets the offensive rebound and a putback. It's not good, but she's fouled. Is that going to be three on Jordan Jones? Yes, it is. You know – Coach Kirkbride's only gone seven deep on his bench right now. He might have to go a little deeper than that. He's getting some people in foul trouble. Seven rebounds a game is what she averages. Ah, Drea misses. And who's coming in? Number 20. You're the only one with the roster, so I don't know who number 20 is. Drea. Rory Cowley averaging a point a game. Who? Rory Cowley. Yeah, I would. Well, you made your first three. You haven't made one since. <laughs> <laughs> she misses both of those. Missile drive out of body free throw. Quality without compromise. Get it on the wing. Now up top. Oh, almost a steal there, but Bolts. And driving is Delbridge. Right hand up and good. That's a good baseline drive by Delbridge to get that basket south now, trailing by five. Yep, now they need to get a bucket. Don't want to get this thing stretched out too far here. They've been playing tremendous basketball so far, so this is a good time to score. Jay Brown. Tries to split the defense, gets it stolen away. Here comes Delbridge, three on three, and she gets it out for the three. That's missed by number 21, Salee. And we're going to have a held ball, and that'll go to Central underneath their own basket. And who's number 20 for Central? Cowley, Rory Cowley. Nice. Roar, Rory. Rory Cowley, Rory. 
So Salee's spin move, gets to about eight feet, puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound, Calista Martinez. Drea is going to travel with it. Nope, it's going to be a hell ball, actually. And that should be South's ball underneath their own basket. Van Tassel going to take it back in now. So Central committed 17 foul. South will be in the bonus from here on. South still with two to give. 2.42 to go till halftime. Oh, and there's just a drop by Tovar. Now ahead, and Central, whoa, they're just turning the ball over every time down the floor, both teams. Well, I'll tell you what, I did the JV game between these two teams yesterday, Steve, and Demas was a player possessed. She, they couldn't stop her. And it's like she's, she's just got to take that confidence from that level to this level, Steve. Well, there's a bump there, and she's going to go to the line. So that's number 25, Bassard, her first foul. One and one. Eighth team foul, and that'll send Demas to the line. Demas averaging just under five points a game at 4.8. That's Coach DeBrian. Talking about cookies, making me hungry. Never talk about cookies with a man, a man on a diet next to him. There you go. Put the hand in a cookie jar. There you go. Looks good with the, you know, coach got the pink shirt on, the black jacket. He's got the, what's that called around his neck, the lay? The lay. It's Hawaiian night here for South High School. The wind's blowing outside, but, yeah, and they just got to drive. Rebound by Cowley, Rory. Salee going to drive to the bucket. Oh. What's the call here? Are they going to call a block? I don't know. I think they're going to call a hit. Oh, they're going to call a block. So Calista picks up her first foul. <laughs> Reagan Moore coming in. So Martinez picking up her first. Is that what you have? Yes. And 21 is at the line. That's Kenneth Lee. Brown set to check back in. Salib misses the first. She's checking in for Harlan and Liggett. Liggett got, has a wrap around her right hand. Salib will get the second. Missile drive auto body free throw. Missile drive auto body quality without compromise. Hey, make sure you use that chat feature as we're going to check it right now. Got one person on there cheering for South, one person who's like, hey, once again, guys, if you're watching this, hit that subscribe button or hit that thumbs up button. Let us know you're watching. If you're from out of state, hit that, hit that thumbs up. Try to feed down to low Reagan Moore. It's out, but it's knocked out by Central. South will still have possession. 16 to 11, the Lady Indians lead. 203 to go first half. Thanks for telling me. I forgot to update the scoreboard. <laughs> Martinez looking to get it in. She does finally to Jaya Brown. Brown working on bolts. Brown gets it on the wing now. High out on the wing to Calista Martinez. Van Tassel up top. Jaya, she's going to drive and then kick it back to Van Tassel. Riley's going to drive. Get to the hole. She's smacked. Good call there. Again, nice patient whistle. 23, so Fernio picks up her second. And Central starting to find themselves in a little bit of foul trouble here in the first half. Yeah, South's not really taking advantage of that, though, Steve. That's the problem. We're missing. Boy, and they're not making free throws either. Riley right now two for five from the charity stripe. And Salee going to check After this back free throw, Fernio. South will have 13 free throw attempts. Right now we've only made five. So if she makes this, we'll be six for 13, which is just over 50%. Sorry, under 50%. Yep, that's their season, about their season average. So she right. does make the second. 16-12 now. Central gets it to Bolts. Bolts on the wing. Thought about it through. Ooh, looked like a little bit of a walk there. Bodies all over the place. South now with numbers, four on one. 
Gets it to Demas, and she's going to be fouled. Ah, oh, you got to well, you got to finish that. That's a good move by Demas. You just got to want to finish that. And Bassert with two. So now Central, they're starting five, has three, two, and two fouls. So 16 to 12, 127 left in the first half. Missile drive auto body free throws being shot by Demas. Four, they're starting five. God, they miss another free throw. Four Central starting five would Six. be considered in, in foul trouble with two at least each. Six for 14 from the free throw line right now. That's not good numbers. And she misses Six again. Six for 15. And you know they practice these, Steve. They do. They practice these. And, and there's going to be a foul there as Bassett goes to the line. 22. Riley, she's going to pick up her first. That was our foul to give, Steve. Was a shooting foul, though, so yep. Bassett will go to the line. She has yet to score. Not for lack of trying. She's been going to the basket a lot. She will make her first. Hasn't she been at the line already? I thought she has. I must have. I think she was one time before and missed them both. But. I like this move. Get Riley a breather. Yeah, 118 to go. You're only down five. Might not be that long of a breather. They might, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't put her back in. And she misses the second. And a rebound there. I don't see who got it. Reagan Moore. was in my way. And Central was on the line. Woo! 17 to 12 is your score on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard. 112 to go till halftime. Central just showing some man in the backcourt. No real pressure. They'll get it across to Harlan. Harlan, careful. Harlan's going to drive, get cut off, and double team. And there's going to be a held ball. I Turn believe over. that's central ball. 12 turnovers in the first half for the Lady Bison. So under a minute to go to half, 58-8 South. Playing right with these Lady Indians here, the number two ranked team in the state. South giving them... The what for here early on. Basser. Can't leave her open. Three. Cannot That's leave good. her open. That is her specialty shot right there. South quickly the other way. Now they find themselves down eight, and it goes off the hands of Reagan Moore. So South kind of starting to discombobulate here a little bit. Eight point lead. To go. Largest lead of the game for either team. Six lead changes in the first quarter, Steve, and it's been or in the first first half. Now Bassard gets it taken away. And then Reagan Moore, get back in the game. Don't be upset about it. Right hand there won't go. Rebound to Jay Brown. Boy, Bassard's all over. Not Bassard, but 21. Salih is all over. 15 seconds to go. Jay in the lane. Hop, pop, can't get it to go. Rebound, McKenna Harlan with the offensive board and the putback. Three seconds to go. See if Central gets one off. It's going to be Bolts. And it'll be no good. So Cheyenne South staying in this one with the number two ranked Lady Indians. We're going to go to half. at Cheyenne Central 20. The Cheyenne South Lady Bison 14. Let's take a halftime break here on 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. Pena Business Services, providing bookkeeping, payroll, tax, and notary services since 2007. At Pena Business Services, they help small to medium sized companies and nonprofits for all your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax needs. They also help individuals with their tax preparations, helping manage your day to day accounting with services provided on a schedule that fits your budget. Their goal is providing business owners like you peace of mind on your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax concerns so you can focus on your business. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all of the pieces? Give Pena Business Services a call at 307-369-2708 to set up a free consultation. 
Welcome to the historic Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins. Located in scenic Thermopolis, Wyoming, it is within walking distance access to the Hot Springs State Park, as well as world-class fishing, motorcycling, golfing, rodeo grounds, and downtown shopping and restaurants. A Wyoming family-owned and operated motel for travelers offers seasonal rates for nightly, weekly, and monthly rentals. Senior, military, and government discounts are also available. Stay at the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins on your next visit to Thermopolis, Wyoming. Make your reservation by calling 307-421-7520 and tell them 1112 BISN Center. Activity programs instill a sense of pride in school and community. At a cost of only 1-3% to of overall school budget, high school activity programs are a bargain. Activities are not a diversion, but rather an extension of a good educational program. Mental and physical health are improved through activities. Schools that have music programs have higher graduation rates, 90.2% compared to 72.9%. Statistics aside, join the ride. We are Wyoming High Schools. Missile Drive Auto Body is a full-service auto body repair facility in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We have established a reputation as an auto repair shop that is honest, performs quality body repairs and refinish, and strives for excellent customer service. And we guarantee our workmanship for as long as you own your vehicle. Call us today at 307-635-0639 or visit us at 1910 Missile Drive in Cheyenne. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. You're watching the Bison, 1112 BISN, your Bison Network. It's much more affordable than you realize to protect your family with the Robert Martinez Agency. Having life insurance will protect you and your loved ones and help ensure the future. As a trusted advisor, Robert Martinez will guide you through the wide range of life insurance plans and their fantastic benefits to find an affordable plan with the right coverages. Working to guide and secure your future. Robert Martinez Agency, 20th and Central in downtown Cheyenne. Call for a no-obligation consultation and quote at 307-514-5003. Whether you're a competitive athlete or a weekend warrior, it's frustrating when an injury keeps you from the activities you love. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers has helped thousands of clients recover from sports injuries and reclaim their lifestyles. Treating a variety of injuries, including sprains, post-surgical, foot and ankle injuries, as well as back and neck injuries. Our therapists will develop a personalized treatment plan to help you heal and hasten your recovery and minimize your risk of re-injury. Call 307-772-0955 to schedule an appointment now. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, let's get moving again. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon knows great hair. Whether it's for a trim, getting rid of stubborn gray hair, or just freshen up, Majestic Butterfly is a cut above the rest. Formal hairdos for school dances or getting ready for the happiest day of your life. The professionals at Majestic Butterfly know how to make you look your best and feel your best for every day and for every occasion. Offering women's, men's, and children haircuts, color services, perms, eyelash extensions, and eyebrow and lip waxing. Call 307-369-2201 now for a free consultation and schedule your appointment. Stylists can also be contacted directly at the numbers below. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly, hair and beyond. For the friendships. For the memories. For the excitement. For the challenge. For the love of the game. Time management. To rise above the challenge to respect others, to be humble, to never quit. The officials, to the positive fans, the parents, to the coaches, to the teammates. We are Wyoming High Schools. Hit a deer, parking lot dings, hail damage, or just roadway demolition derby? No matter how your vehicle gets damaged, Missile Drive Auto Body will make sure it gets repaired back to pre-loss condition and as quickly as possible. No shortcuts, no compromises. And remember, where you get your car repaired is not your insurance company's decision, it's yours. Call today for an estimate appointment at 307-635-0639. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. 
this broadcast is being brought to you by the Bison. 1112 BISN, your Bison Network. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in Cheyenne is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. Our highly skilled, compassionate team of therapy providers are 100% focused on achieving optimal health and wellness for you. If you are tired of living in pain, want to just feel better and move better, or want to improve your strength, endurance, and physical conditioning, then it's time to get physical. Experience the physical difference today by calling 307-772-0955 or visit their website at physicalcenters.com. Physical Therapy Therapy and Balance Centers. Let's get moving again. More than 7.7 million American teenagers participate in high school sports every year, including about 19,000 here in Wyoming. They're all learning essential life lessons, like the importance of hard work, time management, and self-discipline, skills that are helping them become better leaders and more active, responsible citizens. This message presented by the Wyoming High School Activities Association and the Wyoming Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all the pieces? Pena Business Services does and they can help. Realizing your company is like its own unique puzzle, it's their goal to show you how your company is reaching its goals on a weekly, monthly, or quarterly basis. Offering bookkeeping, payroll, and tax services that are tailored to fit your business. At Pena Business Services, they can help allow you to focus on your business and effectively serve your customers. Set up your free consultation now by calling 307-369-2708. Pena Business Services, solving your bookkeeping puzzle one piece at a time. Hey, this is Steve. And this is Alan. And you're listening to The Bison on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Choosing the right collector car insurance is critical. That's why American National provides clients with reliable, consistent service. Robert Martinez has first-hand knowledge of the concerns collector car and truck owners face, and American National has created a policy with the coverage and enhancements you need to protect your valuable investment. Call Robert Martinez with American National Insurance at 307-514-5003 or visit his office at 2005 Central Avenue in Cheyenne. The Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins is the place to stay the next time you're in Thermopolis, Wyoming. One review from TripAdvisor says, The Round Top is a great place to stay, not only because it's old-fashioned and quaint, not only because it's very inexpensive, and not only because you truly feel like a guest, it is also just a 10-minute walk to the hot springs. I don't know why you'd want to stay anywhere else. Make your reservation now at the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins by calling 307-421-7520. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon treats your hair like their canvas. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly offers women, men's, and children haircuts, as well as color services and perms. Your hair is their masterpiece. So if you're looking for a new style, great hair doesn't happen by chance, it happens by appointment. Our stylists can schedule an appointment by calling any of the numbers below, or you can call Majestic Butterfly directly at 307-369-2201. Majestic Butterfly, beautiful hair with beautiful care. And we're back. Third quarter action here. Your South Lady Bison will have the ball to start the second half. Going from left to right on your computer screen or mobile device. Central with a 20 to 14 lead. And South going to get an opportunity to chip in here. South 4 for 12 from the field in that first half, Steve. Only had two field goals in the second quarter. Second. Six lead changes. Both teams look like they're going to go with their starting lineups here to start the second half. Jaya. 
South needs to just be a little patient. She's going to work it down. and There's going to be a jump ball, so it'll go right to Central. First turnover of the second half belongs to South. South had 14 turnovers in that first half, Steve. Not, not the way you wanted to start the second half, but. Jayla Jones with it. Up top to Delbridge. She gets it stolen away by Jay Brown. And then Reagan Moore gets it to, whoa. We got to travel. I didn't see it. It was blocked. It was Reagan Moore. So Delbridge will bring it up for the Lady Indians. Right wing. Fernia, Fernia, Too boy, easy. she goes right to the basket, uncontested. That looked like she was in the layup line. Central with a little bit of pressure, now they quit, get it ahead. There's another turnover. So South turning the ball over far too often. Basser, two-point basket, and I think Coach DeBrian wisely calls a timeout here. South comes out in the second half. Sloppy basketball. This Pena Business Services timeout is a much needed one. We're going to take a quick one with him here, 60 Steve. seconds here on 11-12 BISA. Your Bison Network. With American National, you get a dedicated agent who can help you make well-informed decisions about protecting your lifestyle. With years of experience in the insurance industry and an outstanding array of products and services for home, auto, and life, you can feel good you're doing what's right for your family. Let Robert Martinez be your insurance ally. Call him today at 307-514-5003. This broadcast is being brought to you by the Bison. 1112-B-I-S-N. Your and the Lady Indians on a 4-0 run to start the second half. have increased their lead to 10 points now. It's 24 to 10. Just a minute gone here in the second half. Jay Brown working up top, south. Cannot have empty possessions, and there's Bassert with the foul. That's the one thing the Lady Bison have going for them. They need to, to force the issue here because there's a lot of the starting five for Central in foul trouble. Bassert with three, Jordan Jones with three. Fernio and Jayla Jones both have two, so we need to press the issue. Let's see if we can get these Lady Indians to have to go deep onto their bench to finish the game. I concur. There's a scrum underneath. Jay now gets it to Riley. Jay resets it out top. Ooh. Reagan Moore's got to watch scooting on that, on that screen, too. And then Calista just loses the handle. And quickly ahead, Bolts up and in. Two-point basket on the breakaway. 6-0 central run here to start the second half. Well, I talked about how South has that. Another steal. South always seems that the Lady Bison have had one quarter this, this year. It's not really one specific quarter, but they have one quarter where they just they don't, they don't take care of the ball as well as they normally have in other quarters. Delbridge scores it for the Lady Indians there. Now it's an 8-0 run. Whoa. And they try to feed it down, down low to Moore. She can't hang on to it. Another turnover. Delbridge again to Jayla Jones. She's going to be hammered. Ooh. So Angelina is going to get the foul. Boy, saw Lady Bison have come out flat here in the second half. Four turnovers Central to start the second half. Taking it to them. Got their lead to 14 points. 28-14. And, uh, it's always one quarter. Just one quarter where it happens, though, Steve. And that's what Demas brings you, though. She brings that energy off the floor. And it's going to be South Ball. She's going to get credit with that steal. 
hopefully that gets the ship. You know, you're down 14, and it's really not much. It's really not much. You can easily whittle this down yeah, you to single try to, digits. Yeah, that's kind of got to be the goal. You got to take care of the ball, though. Central pouring that pressure again. Dre is going to get it across. There's a block. And Bolt's looking and Bolt's, like she can't believe she it. She can't believe that. Yeah, I mean, you know. I just threw a hip check at her. How's that not <laughs> supposed to I just did a hockey uh, play. That's not a foul. She just <laughs> can't believe it. That was a hip check. <laughs> so Tovar's going to get it into Demas. That was a great call there by Bill Lyons. Now Callista. She's going to split it. Ooh, that's. Ooh. Ooh, boy, she looked like they had ball there. Like all ball to me. 23. Fernio, so she has three fouls. So Jones, Jones, Fernio, and Bassard all with three fouls early here in the third quarter. Yeah, cheers. And Callista misses the first free throw. So nothing going right for the Lady Bison here in the third quarter. She does make the second, so South finally off the schneid here in the second half. 28-15 Central, and Martinez is going to be called for a foul there. Now Central, or excuse me, South going to come up and play a little man pressure in the backcourt. And Delbridge will bring it up. Central, get it on the wing. Fernio gets down low, right hand, short, can't get it to go. Bolts with an offensive rebound. She can't get it to go. Martinez finally gets a defensive rebound. Comes up ahead to Tovar. Tovar out top to Martinez. Martinez, Dima, she's going to drive, stop. Popped a little four-footer, can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Central. They have numbers, South not hustling back. Central four on one, and Jordan Jones scores the two-point bucket. Boy, South's got to get back on defense. There's a steal, and Andrea Demas is going to commit the foul, I believe. Maybe a little frustration there. Second foul on Andrea. Tote Reagan Moore's going to take a seat. Central has South doubled up 30 to 15 now, approaching the midway point of the third quarter. Fernio, what a spin move there. Right hand up and in, and it goes. And Central now just running away with this thing. 25, Harlan with the foul there. Fernio, chance for the and one. This free throw is being brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. And she does make it. So, boy, South was very competitive through about 80% of the first half. They were right in this thing. And now Central has just opened this thing up. Baseline shot there by Tovar. Held ball. I believe it's Central on the possession. Jayla Jones in south again, pressuring. Just a man pressure in the backcourt. Kenzie Bolts will bring it across for Central. On the wing, Jordan Jones. Right hand, Callista shutting her down. Tries to feed down to Fernio. Turn around, can't get it to go, but she's fouled. I believe that's going to be Van Tassel. I think it's going to be Demas. Yep. You're correct, and that's three on Andrea Demas. And that foul was brought to you by Homelight.com. Looking to buy or sell a home? Visit Homelight.com. Fernio looking for her 10th. She's got it. She leads all scores. Demas South. and Van Tassel are going to check out. Probably not what we wanted to start the second half. You've only scored one point. You've given up 14. You've been outscored 14 to 1 so far in the third quarter. 
And you're not. And they're going to get another offensive rebound. Not the same Lady Bison team that we saw in the first half, Steve. No, it's Definitely not. not. Well, you hope you hope they'd make some adjustments to come out and be a little stronger here in the second, but quite the contrary. Central's come out with a lot of energy, and they're running away with this thing. Fernio, right hand, good. Ellie Fernio overtaking over this game for the Lady Indians. South breaks the pressure. Down low and a bad pass there by Harlan. Harlan, she tried a bounce pass, right idea, just didn't have enough oomph on it. And Jordan Jones is going to travel on her way to the basket. Thirty-six, fifteen. Tail of two halves completely. It's out of bounds on off of Central Fernio. So 3:04 to go, third quarter. And things have gotten awful quiet here at the old man. Even Alan Cummings has gotten quiet here at the old man. <laughs> I'm just He's really been bringing the fire with the color commentary. <laughs> Tovar with it out top. Three seconds. And another turnover by the Lady Bison. Kids and Bolts can check back in. I'm kind of speechless right now. It's, it's just a to, shock yeah. of see the two different teams. I mean, you had the Lady Bison team in the first half that was energetic, full of full of life and Pena Business Services timeout. Let's see what we're going to take here. Full timeout. Let's take a timeout with them. You're listening to High School Basketball on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. living want to feel better, move better, and love your life, then it's time to get physical. At Physical, through our comprehensive programs, you will discover how to achieve the pinnacle of healthy living, expand your boundaries, and love your life again. Call us at 307-772-0955. Let's get moving again and experience the physical difference today. Hey, this is Alan, back with 1112 BISN. I want to give a shout-out to Brett Henderson, Worth the Work Fitness. His email is on the screen. New Year's resolution, new you. Hit-style hit workouts you can do in your own home. Look him up on YouTube. Just type in Brett Henderson, Worth the Work Fitness, or shoot him an email for any details. He's got two of his exercises, two of his workouts shown on YouTube right now. Great workouts. Help me. I'll tell you what, I've lost almost 30 pounds with his workouts. Worth the work fitness. And I found 10 of the 30 that Alan lost. <laughs> no, I'm back in the gym trying to feel good, trying to get ready to get back on the hardwood myself. Jordan Jones gets to the free throw line, can't get it to go. Boy, Bolts almost had a rebound, but <coughs> give it to Calista Martinez. She's going coast to coast, L.A. to Chicago. And Jordan Jones is going to pick up her fourth foul. She did not like the call. Does any player really like your call, Steve? Callista has the Kind of like, does any fan sitting behind us like the calls against them? No. <laughs> there are some South fans back here hollering for South, though. Probably making the Central fans around them mad. South just can't hit a free throw to save their lives. Mm -mm. 10 misses, 11 misses, 12 misses. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, what are they, about seven for 20? Yeah, they were six for 15 in the first half. These free throws being brought to you by Mr. Draw. And, just and they're one for four now, so they're seven for 19 in the game, approaching under 40%. Finish that. Reagan Moore. Oh, my goodness, I that's don't know not if, a good call. I don't Sorry. know if you want that call. I mean, you, Coach Kirkbride livid about his team not rebounding. I don't 
think that was a good call, but I'm going to keep it. South trailing by 21, 36 to 15, 216 left. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. The subscribe button. See, if I make that call in the game, I'm getting my behind ream. Did she miss that free throw? Yep. So now they're 7 for 20. While we're shooting these free throws, I want to give a shout-out to some of our sponsors out there. You see him on the right-hand side of your screen, S&J Signs, Robert Martinez. Wow, 7 for 21 from the line. Folks, that's 33% from the free throw line. Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins, <laughs> homelight.com. 33% from the line ain't going to get it Majestic Butterfly, done. Robert Martinez Agency, homelight.com, Pena Business Services. Thank you for all that you've done for us to help bring these broadcast to everyone all over the world and hey interstellar you never know man oh, somebody, yeah, like, somebody like the martian yeah like what's that intergalactica intergalactic what's that beastie boy song tovar gonna bring it across Ooh, Angelina thought about a three, gets it down low. Ooh, Martinez yes. gets a two-point bucket. That's only her second field goal of the game, Steve. She does have seven points. Good defense there. Ooh. And Martinez is going to commit the foul there. She's got three now. So her and Andrea De, uh, Demas with three fouls each. So if you went to school here in Cheyenne and you're watching the broadcast, doesn't matter when you went to school to Cheyenne, be it elementary school, junior high school, or high school, and you're just watching the broadcast, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button. Turnover central. If you've ever done the electric slide. If you've done the, the electric slide or the, uh, what's the chicken one? The chicken dance. The chicken dance. If you've done the chicken dance within the last month, Hit that like button. And the subscribe button. <laughs> Matter of fact, post on YouTube, and I'll subscribe to it. Tovar can't get it to go. Offensive board. Megan Moore going to the free throw line. She's 0 for 4 right there. 21, so Salee with two fouls. Boy, these refs calling a lot of fouls that don't look like fouls. I'm sorry, that did not look like a foul. Yep, I agree. Oh, that's good. I was about to have a very. Four points in the quarter for South. 122 left in the I third was, quarter. I was about to have a very unpositive con. <coughs> Excuse me, comment. Excuse me. Wow, she makes them both. Look at that. She said, keep your comments to yourself, Steve. So 9 to 23. Use that chat feature. Chat us up. You're going to watch the boys' game later on. You can find the links at SouthHighBisonAthletics.com or you can go to Facebook and search 1112BISN. Or better yet, just go to the YouTube page for 1112BISN and both links are there right now. That bastard was a great move. Left hand can't get it to go, but there's rebound. Just can't get it to go. And underneath, and what are they going to call here? 32, I believe. Who's going That's to the line? Her. Is it going to be Moore? Moore's going to the free throw line for the one and one. And I'm going to move with him. Reagan always looks like she's about ready to cry. It is 36 to 19, by the way. I'm updating the score right now. Bolts checking back in for Bazer. So it'll be a one and one here. She two for six right now or two for Steve? She got she's two for six, exactly. Okay, so. Here comes the free throw, number seven. Ah. Yeah, she made it, so she's got three in a row. She got the friendly roll. It's rare that you hit the heel of a rim and it goes in, but that one hit the heel, rolled right up the backboard and right back down, Steve. And she does miss the second rebound. To the Lady Indians. Delbridge will bring it ahead. Those free throws brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. Delbridge is going to get to the hole. No backside. Right no, hand, no, no, no. up and in. Under a minute to go. 38 20 now. 18 point lead. Ooh. 
for the Lady Indians. They've outscored South 18 to six here. Central runs they that one three one zone. Oh, you had Reagan Moore wide open under the basket. Van Tassel out on the wing. She feeds down low, tries to feed Reagan Moore, who is fronted by number 20, Rory Cowley. Ten seconds to go. Lady Indians going to look for the last shot. Salee thought about it, and they're going to turn it over. Nope. And that will be the end of the third quarter. So after three, it's the Lady Indians from Central, 38, the South Lady Bison, 20. You're listening to high school basketball. 11-12 BISN. Your Bison Network. For those great hair. Whether it's for a trim, getting rid of stubborn gray hair, or just freshen up, Majestic Butterfly is a cut above the rest. Formal hairdos for school dances, or getting ready for the happiest day of your life. The professionals at Majestic Butterfly know how to make you look your best and feel your best for every day and for every occasion. Offering women's, men's, and children haircuts, color services, perms, eyelash extensions, and eyebrow and lip waxing. Call 307-369-2201 now for a free consultation and schedule your appointment. Stylists can also be contacted directly at the numbers below. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly, hair and beyond. You're watching the Bison. 1112BISN, your Bison Old man. Network. Story Gymnasium, fourth quarter action just about to get underway. Central outscored South 18 to 6. They're in that third period, and now they lead by 18 points, 38 to 20. First turnover. possession is a turnover for the Lady Bison. Fernio on the wing to Bolts. This game was a very competitive game at the half. It was 20 to 14 at the half, for those of you that remember watching, and then came out and just started turning the ball over left and right. Yeah, they went on an 8 or 10 0 run to start the third quarter. And Lady Bison now just need to try to whittle away. Is 18 points too much to overcome, Al? You know, you're not shooting the ball very well. You've only got I mean, five field goals the whole game, Yeah, Steve. when you score 20 through three quarters, making up an 18-point deficit seems highly unlikely. Three-pointer there. Salee can't get it to go. And there's going to be a foul. I believe it's on Callista. It's going to be her fourth. It'll be her fourth foul. Fernio to the line. She missed the first. She's got 12 points in the game. These free throws brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body. She does make the second. 13 points in the game for Fernio. 19 point lead. Tovar across the line. Foot on the line there for Brown. Tried the three. Rebound by Tovar. Now she's going to get fouled. Go to the line. 20. Rory Cali picks up her first foul. Let's see what Tovar can do from the line. Her first free throws of the night, Steve. First one's no good. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coach DeBrine begging for some help for the free throw line. If, she if doesn't make a, the second. If there's a Kyler Cummings watching. He was just asked to come help hold a free throw clinic for the Lady Bison. He was a 70% free throw shooter. 
should have me come in hold clinic. I, you know what, though? What a lot of people don't realize is when you're used to playing in a gym like yours, then you come to a big facility like Story Gym, it, it can really mess with your vision when it comes to shooting, Steve. And if you're not used to playing in a gym like this, it can really affect your shots. And right now, unfortunately, it's been affecting the south shots. And one there as Fernio goes to the bucket, makes the lay-in, and she's fouled by number 12. Jay Brown. And I wouldn't necessarily say it's the depth. No, like in the Casper Event Center, the depth that, yeah, really the messes depth. you up. But, but you got a big. But it's, it's just a cavernous yeah. arena. It's cavernous. It's cavernous. And it's echoey. And Bolt steals the ball from Martinez. Now to Rory Cowley, two-point bucket. 43 to 21 is your score. And Bolts is going to commit another foul. For Demas Central. is going to go to the free throw line for a one and one. Boy, Central was in a lot of foul trouble, and they're keeping their gals clean. <laughs> you know, having officiated in this gym, it can really even mess with the officials. You know, sometimes you see you see travels when there's no travels, and I've did some of my best work in this gym. I think the floor is hard in this gym. I don't. I don't know. The lines on the floor get confusing. Calista, one and one, and it'll only be one. Whew. I thought that was going to be Demas. Six minutes to go. Stay tuned. After this, we have boys' action coming up. The number one Central Indians, and boy, that's too easy. Ferdio just again looks like she's in the layup line. Nobody collapsed side weak side. Steve, no, but there was no weak side help on that at all. Two-point attempt there by Demas. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, Van Tassel. She can't get it to go. Offensive rebound by Calista Martinez. She does get it to go. So 45 to 23, 22-point lead. We had for the 14 Indians. at the half, and we've only scored nine. We've scored nine, but we've given up a heck of a 25. There's, oh, Demas can't control the rebound. Martinez does. She probably traveled with it. Yeah. No call. That's a good no call, though. Yeah, at this point On in the game. One, yeah. yeah. Tovar, baseline. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound. Martinez, she can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds by Riley Van Tassel, and it'll go to Central. Jordan Jones going to check back in with her four fouls. Not that it matters at this point. Timeout. It's a full timeout of Pena Business Services timeout, Steve. What does that mean? We're going to take a timeout here on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Parking lot hail damage or just roadway demolition derby? No matter how your vehicle gets damaged, Missile Drive Auto Body will make sure it gets repaired back to pre-loss condition and as quickly as possible. No shortcuts, no compromises. And remember, where you get your car repaired is not your insurance company's decision, it's yours. Call today for an estimate appointment at 307-635-0639. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. <laughs> Back here live, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't know what the subscribe button looks like, go ahead and look on your screen right now. It's right there, red box that hits subscribe. It's totally free. All that does is it helps you show the support for streamers like us, Steve, where all we do is web streaming. We don't have a radio station behind us. Everything we do is on YouTube. It's totally free. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Show your support for the web broadcasters like us here. Use the chat feature, too. Tell us hello. Let's see who's checked in on that chat feature, Alan. Cody, that's it. Cody Reinhardt, thanks for watching, buddy. All right, Central going to bring it in. Up 22 points, five minutes and change to go in the ball game. Jordan Jones with it out top. Jones looking. Gets it to... Lee. I had, a, I had a Chick-fil-A sandwich earlier. Yeah, I saw that. And now I'm all tired. <laughs> Central working it out top. Eat more chicken. Eat more chicken. Kenneth Lee looking for some help. 
Gets it to Bolts. Bolts. So South plays some good defense here, not letting Central penetrate at all. Jumper Jones. Can't get it to go. It's going to be gathered by Liggett. She throws it off the leg of Rory Cowley. And now Tovar is going to come back in the game for JF. I had, I did, like I said, I did the JV game yesterday, and that Cowley made me laugh. I went and did the one horn warning. You know, the first horn warning, and I had my hand up, and I was going one. And she turned, and I was literally standing right behind her, and she turned and looked at me, and she went, good job, Raph. And she gave me knuckles right out as I was holding the one up. I was like, man, that's a first. <laughs> So south ahead, no, Martinez, there's good that. ball movement there. McKenna Harlan with the two-point basket. Four points for Harlan. Midway point of the fourth quarter, 20-point lead. 45-25, Central with the lead. We'll be back here Friday night for the Southeast games, but we'll be up top for those ones, Steve. Be up in the crow's nest. Up in the crow's nest. Is there any other local radio here tonight? Nope, I guess we could have gone up there tonight. I can't believe there's no local radio down at the other end. Boy, they'll both be here on Friday, though. There'll probably be all three of us here on Friday. Four of us if you include the newspaper. 14 with the foul. Bucket's good for Jordan Jones. That's Reagan Moore. We'll probably have the mighty cuff buck. Cornerfield Triple C's playing tonight. K Ray, is it 1480? K Ray? Us and then the newspaper. I see Jeremiah down there. Jeremiah's here. Putting putting in work. Jeremiah's putting in work. Maybe Keith Kelly's doing East and Laramie. No, I think there's a UW game going on tonight. Girls. Oh. Man Tassel right hander's good. Her first field goal of the game, Steve. She has five points. Right now, you're, you're wanting to finish strong here if you're the Lady Bison. You really want to finish strong, help bring that momentum into Friday night. Have a good finish, and that helps bleed over into Friday night. What are the East girls ranked? Are they three or four? They're number one. Oh, are they? Yeah. Holy cow. That's it. So that means next week you're going to have a couple of one-two matchups. Yep. I, I. Is the East boys still really number two, right? Yep. I don't. I don't. I don't want to upset any fans or anything. I, they're just not the number two team in the state right I now. I think they are. Who's, who's better? Thunder Basin's playing great, dude. Thunder Basin's I'll played. See it to believe it. Thunder Blade Basin's played tougher opponents, and they've only lost two games. Not to see it to believe it. Yeah, who's East? I mean, who's East played? Scotts Bluff. Yeah, and they. <laughs> yeah, but they've lost two games already. They lost to Kelly Walsh. Yeah, well, Kelly Walsh, good team. I'm not trying to bag take anything away from East. They're they're a good team. I don't think they're the number two team in the state. Number three, yes. I have I have them as my number two. Harlan, high arc and three, can't get it to go. Going to be chased down by Fernio, and there's a scrum. It's going to be a held ball. But that's why we vote. That and is I, why we vote? I would like to meet the people who voted them number one. <laughs> who voted East number one? Yeah, who got them two votes for number one. That's just someone who doesn't know, I think. Wow. I mean, just because I think someone thinks, well, East beat Scott's Bluff and Central lost. Central had to go on the road, first of all. Yeah. East had him at home. East had a double-digit lead and almost lost the game. But I still think they're the number two team in the state. They got the McCord twins. They got All Miller. I just look at oh, you got teams Buell. that have these weapons. Yeah, Graden Buell. Graden Buell's a weapon as well. But now the East girls, yeah, I I had them clearly as my number one as well. Nineteen points for Fernio. Two minutes left. Take that, Drea. Money. Booyah! Oh, oh, that looked good. I thought that was booyah. Two minutes booyah. to go in the game. Did you just say booyah? Booyah. 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 Nope, that don't go. Rebound. Lick it. You got a four on one. Four on one. Nice pass. Calista Martinez is the beneficiary there. And quick timeout. It's going to be a 30. Let's keep it here. 
give a shout out to some of our sponsors while we're here. Minute 46 that? left. Shoot them up. I'm just going to give a special thanks to some of them. All of them, actually. Homelight.com. Majestic Butterfly, the sponsor of our scoreboard. Make sure you visit them and they give great haircuts there. Pena Business Services. It's tax season. Visit Pena Business Services. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. For those of you basketball players who might be feeling sore, give them a call. Missile Drive Auto Body. You know, you've got some ice around here. They'll be able to see them. s j Signs, keeping our, our, our drivers safe. Robert Martinez Agency. Get your car insurance through them, and then when you have your accident, go visit Missile Drive Auto Body. There you go. One minute, 46 seconds left in the ball game. 49-29. <coughs> Central with a 20-point lead. The boys' link has been posted on Facebook. It'll be posted on Twitter. It'll be posted on YouTube. It's already on YouTube, actually. Bailey Delbridge will bring it up for the Lady Indians. Up and top and a half to left. Jordan Jones. Jones gives it off to number 31, a new addition into the game. Or is that, no, that's just 30. That's just Delbridge. Sometimes her zero looks like a one. Jordan Jones, spin move. Left hand, nice move. She can't get it to go. She gets her own rebound, kicks it out. Callie for three, that won't go. Another rebound for Central. Callie got her own rebound on that three. Jordan Jones misses the left hand. Callie rips another <laughs> offensive board away from Saab. Boy, Central's got to have 20 offensive boards in this game. Delbridge pops from 15, can't get it to go. Andrea's going to be fouled by Callie. It's amazing how many players Central had with three fouls early in the second half, and they've stayed pretty clean. Now they're bringing in wholesale changes here. So what am I expected to learn five new players in the last 50 seconds of the game? Do you think that's too much to ask, Coach Kirk, Brad? You could do it, man. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have the whole roster. Oh, boy, both teams emptying them. Going to be calling a lot of numbers here. In this last 50 seconds, Demas at the line. I do know who she is. This is a broadcaster's nightmare right here. <laughs> Demas makes yep. it first. It's a line change. This isn't substitution. It's a line, line change. change. Oh, 5, 24, 35 for Sal. Let's try to recognize these gals. Darcy Delbert. Debert, excuse me. Hey. Get off the court. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see, 35, Grace Cahill. What are we doing here, guys? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just see if Demas can make this last one. Second free throw. And it's short. Rebound to Cheyenne Central. Number five will bring it up for them. Kyla Bush. 44 is Kiaya Brandt. Left hand, who made that? The 25. So two-point basket there for Kelsey Bassard. And then a steal. Here's Bassard again. Right hand up and in. So she scores four quick points. That's just about going to do it. Ten seconds to go in the game. Demas with it. See if South can get a shot up here. Five seconds. Bastard commits the foul. Demas to go to the line for two. So stick around. 4.3 seconds to go. Stick around for boys action to follow. Probably about 10 or 15 minutes after this one. We'll come back on a little early. To give you a little bit of pregame on that boys matchup, be kind of exciting to see the number one team in the state and how the South High Bison can fare. Girls were in this one for a lot of the game, but third quarter got away from them. And they're going to go down. So the final score here from the old man story gymnasium, the matinee, the lady game. It's the Central Lady Indians, 53. Your South Lady Bison, 
32. We're going to take a timeout. Boys action to follow, so stick around. And we'll be back here on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network.